everyone and welcome to another one of my vlogs now this one this vlog is going to be a little bit different than the other vlogs that i've done this vlog is going to go over a period of five to six days um basically as you've guessed by the title it is breaking it about breaking in a pair of dr martin boots now i bought these about i think it was a year ago if not longer and basically when i first heard about dr martin boots i wanted a pair and i bought a pair a very very long time ago and as soon as they arrived i tried them on obviously you try them on to see whether they fit but as soon as i put them on my feet i didn't have to stand up i didn't have to move and i could feel those blisters appearing on my feet and i just thought I can't do this. I can't wear these boots because they're gonna kill me. So basically, I ended up sending them back. And about 10 years later, I bought, I went ahead and I bought these. Now, these are slightly different than, the, these are the, the classic style of Dr. Martin boots that you can get in the shops. You can get them in shoe, but I got these ones from Dr. Martin themselves. Now, the hard, there's hard ones, which are the classic design. And then there's these ones that I found because I did want a pair because basically they're, they're an investment shoe. It's not a fashion shoe. Um, it's more of an investment shoe. They're long, hard wearing, they last long. And basically I thought to myself, I'm never gonna be able to get a pair that are gonna kill me. And then I found these ones. Now, these ones are completely different if you have a look you can actually see that is like proper soft material inside so i thought you know what these are softer than the other stock martin boots that i have found so i'm gonna give these ones a go i think i paid about 130 130 pounds they might have been on sale at the time i'm not 100 percent sure but they weren't they weren't expensive as they could have been, basically. But as you can see, it's soft material. You can see how soft it is. That's really soft leather. And obviously, because it's soft leather, I thought to myself, because it's so soft, it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt my feet. But however, the heel on the inside is still as rock hard as the last pair I had. And it's the heel that is always the problem. So basically, what I'm gonna be doing is I am going to be breaking in these boots over the period of five to six days. Now, when people break in boots, they usually say, you know, just walk around the house in them or whatever. Now, I'm gonna be doing this a little bit differently as well. I'm gonna be breaking these boots in at night time. So basically, when you see me, when I, when this vlog goes out, you will basically just see, me in the boots and talking about them um and how they feel how much pain they've caused me you know things like that it'll be all done at night time and the reason i'm doing it at night time is because basically you only have to right you only have to wear these for about 10 minutes a day now for those of you who are fully aware of dr martin boots and have them and for those of you who don't they can cause a lot of pain in such a short space of time. So, the reason I'm doing them at night time is because at night time, you don't need to go anywhere. You can just take them off after you've done the 10 minute break in. I'm going to be doing, I think I'm going to start off 10 minutes and then i'm going to go up to 15 minutes the next night and then the night after that i'm going to go up to 20 minutes each night because to be honest i've had them for such a long time and i really want to start using them because i have been out in them but as you can see by just looking at them they're brand new you can't even tell they've been used outside that's how new they are and that's how hard wearing they are as well so basically um Yeah, I'm going to do them at night time because as I was saying, you don't need to go anywhere. And then 
after you take them off, you have the rest of the evening and the whole night for your for your feet to recover the next day. Whereas if you were to do it like in the morning or during the day and you get blisters and then you need to go out, it's gonna be painful. Whereas if you do them at night time, you're not gonna have that problem because you've been wearing slippers. If you're gonna do it in summertime and you are gonna do it during the day, obviously you couldn't do it in winter during the day because you well you could, but it, it's up to you whether you wanna be in pain for the rest of the day or not. Um, you could do them in summer if you wear flip flops because it's the heel that's mainly the problem. It's not, I wouldn't say it's anywhere else. I have worn them since I've bought them and they cause me a lot of pain within the first three minutes. So basically, um, I'll be walking around the house in them. I'll be just, you don't even have to walk around the house in them. You could just sit on the sofa, wiggle your feet around while they're in the, while you're wearing them and just see how it goes. You will get blisters, you will be in pain, but unfortunately that is the process of breaking them in and wearing them. There are consequences to things and this is one of the major consequences to the Dr. Martin boots. Now, um, they are, as I said, they are an investment boot. You know, you can get loads of fashion boots that look exactly like this, but they won't last as long as these will. Um, I know people who've had a pair of these boots and they've lasted for, I think they've got about 20, 20 years out of their boots. So they are an investment. They do last a very long time. You know, if you're wearing them constantly, then obviously the, the sole will go down. But obviously, because of the bouncy rubber on the sole, it's not really going to make that much of a difference. It will go down, but to be honest, again, it's all to do with wear and tear and how long, how often you wear them. I think the person who I know, who I knew, who had them bears for 20 years... I don't think they wore them that often and they did have a few pair of Dr. Martin boots that they had. Um, the person I knew had the original ones where the sole was actually, it was hand stitched. So it was a vintage Dr. Martin boot that they had. And yeah, but they do last years. I may be over exaggerating with 20 years, but you can get at least, you can get over five years out of these boots. You know, it's leather, leather's hard wearing and obviously, you know, the heel is rock hard, but this bit, this you see, this is the bit that I'm worried about because it's soft leather. It's really, really soft leather, and the other classic Dr. Martin boots aren't soft leather, so they mightn't last as long there. But again, I think that all depends on how you take care of them as well. They are for all different types of weather. I've never heard anyone say that they let in water or anything. But, you know, there's always a first for everything, isn't there? So, that's what we'll be doing. We'll be breaking these in every single night till about Saturday. And hopefully they'll be broken in by then. Because apparently it doesn't take... From what I've been told, it, it takes a week to break them in. If you only wear them slightly. So yeah and yeah we'll just see how it goes right this is the first night of breaking my boots so basically what i've decided to do instead of just saying you know oh uh, this is the second night the first night of the second night you know Instead of it being boring, I've basically decided um, what I'm going to do is my bedroom actually needs tidying. So I'm going to put my Dr. Martin boots on and I'm going to take on a time lapse. And you're basically going to just watch me tidy my room while I'm breaking in my boots. And then at the end of the time lapse, I will tell you exactly how my feet are feeling. Um, and basically the verdict of it okay so i'm going to stick you on a time lapse now
So I've just finished tidying my room and I didn't show you how bad it was before, but you couldn't see the floor. And now you can, you can see the floor. There's still a few little bits that I need doing, but basically I'm gonna do them tomorrow daytime because I'm gonna have to hoover in here anyway. Um, and get everything all tidy. Um, the bedroom really needs a tidy, and to be honest, it was that bad. But anyway, back to the boots. Now, I have had the boots on. Let me just see if I can show you. I've had the boots on the entire time. You may have seen me kneel down in the time lapse when I was just there and put my feet on the bed. It's because basically when I was tidying up, um, I stood on my shoelace and my shoelace came undone and I nearly broke my neck. So that's why I did that. So just in case you were thinking, did she take her shoes off while she was doing it? Did she cheat? No, I didn't. And I have to say, to be honest, I think this is probably the best way of breaking your boots in now i'm getting a little bit of a blister on my little toe um i can feel it rubbing actually quite there and that's quite sore and um, my heel on this one on my right foot it doesn't feel that bad my left one is it's getting a bit sore it's getting a bit sore here Ooh. and my heel is quite well it's not quite sore it's a little bit sore so that was night like, this is so this is my first night doing it um and you will see me doing you'll see me doing it again tomorrow and for the next couple of nights so you will i'm just talking crap now right this is day two of filming breaking my boots and as you can see, I've got my boots on today. Now, I've decided I'm gonna do something a little bit different instead of just walking around in my boots. I've decided I'm gonna do a meal prep for tomorrow. So it is a sausage pasta dish, which is from the book Rather Delish by Beck and Grubb and Nal Kirkland. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna be. I'm probably gonna. I'm not probably gonna do it exactly the same as she would do it. I'll probably. There's probably gonna be things in it that aren't identical to what she uses, but the majority of it is. To be honest, it's probably only one thing that's not gonna be exact, and that is the baby spinach. I think they use basil in theirs, so I'm using baby spinach instead. Um, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, I'm using the sweet pointed peppers. A sweet pointed peppers and um, one white onion and um, parmesan and um, creme fraiche now megan doesn't use the creme fraiche and um, niall uses the creme fraiche not megan so i'm using it i'm doing it by niall's recipe not megan's um the heck sausages and um, the chopped tomatoes um, Italian seasoning. I think Anil uses a different seasoning from this, but I'm going to be using this one because it's the only one that I have. Um, I'll be also using some coconut oil for the oil in the pan and just pasta for it as well. So basically, I'm going to stick on a time lapse and you can watch me do that. Right, I've just finished the dish and this is the final result. I did make a little bit of a mess of it, but and I think I'll do, I think to be honest, I, th I think I used a little bit too much pasta 
but other than that it turns out pretty well from what I'm aware from what I can see um, and also I'm still wearing my boots so I'll take them off to be honest they're not hurting as much as they were yesterday so I think the past couple of times I've worn them when I haven't done the vlog um, before I actually started this process off I think that I have actually broken them in quite a bit without realising it so I'm going to still carry on with the five day period and I'll let you know how it goes right so today is it's day it's technically day four of um, this vlog but um, I had to skip day three um, basically I had absolutely loads to do yesterday and I was exhausted by the time it came round and I completely forgot to do it so basically because the last time I had them on when I was doing the food prep um, basically they didn't hurt that much so I've got I'm going to do it a little bit differently today basically I am I'm going to be out for the whole day today so I'm going to be I'm only going to be in the car so I'm not really going to be walking around that much so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear my Dr Martin boots for the whole of the journey prep hopefully there and back but I'm going to take my bare paw boots with me just in case as you start getting a little bit blistery on my feet um, and hopefully that will also help breaking them in and to be honest it's gonna be i'm gonna be in the car for about eight hours so i think to be honest um my feet can handle it because they didn't really feel at all i think the only part of my feet foot that will feel it will be the toes but i'm not 100 percent sure so i'm gonna put the boots on and hopefully this will work i'm absolutely caught and fair at the moment because Today is also another busy day and I've been spending the morning getting ready and half the things I've been vlogging for that as well. So this vlog will go out first and then the next vlog will go out afterwards. Let's see if I can get my boots on. But I'm not sure I'll be able to. Yes I can. They're in, they're on, even. Um, Right, I've got to be careful how I do this because I'm wearing socks as well. So I want to basically, I don't really want to show that much sock off. So it's tucking the boots in too. This is another thing as well, when you're wearing Dr. Martin boots, you've got to think of what you're going to be wearing on your feet. So basically, um, do you want it on display? Is it going to be on display? Um, but a lot of people try to use the uh, trainer socks for these or they just basically wear jeans or whatever but i'm wearing leggings because to be honest if i'm going to be in the car all day i want to be comfortable so i'm doing it the comfy way today i hopefully um but yeah at the same time i want to be like really comfy and not awkward or any feel like awkward or anything so i've got me boots sort of on i'm just about to tie the last one and hopefully that should be it and i'm not going to film the whole the whole of the journey because obviously i'm just going to be sitting in the car so we don't really see the points so what i'm basically going to do is if I do end up swapping over, I will let you know at when I get back and I'll give you another verdict as well. So, <clears throat> I'm back from the day out that I had. Um, basically, by about one o'clock, I ended up taking my boots off because it wasn't so much the heel that was hurting. It was me, uh, it was me little toe on both feet so i did get probably a good four or five hours i was wearing them so it is progress um but yeah obviously i didn't wear them for the whole day um i took them off and yeah so tomorrow we'll be back to 
another break-in day. So tomorrow will be technically day number five. So see you tomorrow. Right, it is now day five, I believe, of wearing my boots in. Um, I've been busy all day and so I've only just put them on and to be honest I should have actually skipped today but I thought you know what I'm just gonna do it because I need to get this vlog up and out of the way because obviously I can't wear the boots all the time Um, I can't I can't basically run this video for the complete time it takes me to break them in it will be ridiculous Um, but it does take about as I said before it does take about a week Um. I have been out today, like I've just mentioned, um, and the walking sort of, I've ended up with a little blister on me on my heel, so wearing these boots makes it feel a million times worse, and as you can probably see, I've had my hair done as well, I had that done yesterday, but, um, no, I had it, I had it done yesterday, early, I had it done earlier today, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about that in not the next vlog but the one after. Also, um, I think basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick you on a time lapse to show me actually doing something instead of, you know, just sitting here wearing my boots so you can actually see me making some sort of effort. Um, you probably will see me hobble around because obviously the blister has developed on my feet. So I'm going to stick you on a time lapse now. So, basically, I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, it's been a very, very, I'm going to be honest, it's been a very long vlog, this one, for me, personally. It probably hasn't turned out that long, but it has actually been a very long vlog, um, due to the fact that halfway through this vlog, something big happened, something really, really big happened for me, which was in a good way. And I had to start filming that as well. So I've sort of been, I've been filming two different vlogs um, that have gone over a couple of days and it's also got a bit tiring for me as well. So yeah, the verdict is you can break your boots in because I'm still wearing my boots as you can see. I don't know whether you can actually see that or not. But to be honest, my right foot, as I said, if it weren't for the little blister on my heel um, from walking today, I probably would have, I could probably say, honestly, I could probably confidently say, I have nearly enough, near enough broke these in 100%. Because this, sh this one that I'm wiggling around is actually more very, very comfortable. And it's basically, it's made me think it's made me feel a bit more confident with Doc Martin. So basically, if I was to buy another pair in the future, I think knowing I can break them in, which is something that I didn't, I didn't think I'd be able to do it to be honest, because I was just too worried about the amount of blisters I have on my feet. But knowing I can do it this way is giving me a lot more confidence if I wanted to to buy some more in the future. And yeah. If anyone struggles with their DMs or the worrying about buying a pair, um, to follow this advice, or you can actually Google how to um, break them in, and that's how I learned um, to do mine. To be honest, um, I think there's like a dummy, a wee, a wiki dummy, dummies guide for it, basically, and that's what I used, and it is quite helpful because it, you know, it shows you a step by step thing. And a lot of people who buy Dr. Martens, they sort of, they put them on straight away and they expect it to be, they know they're going to blister the feet. But I think they think, it, you know, it's not going to be that bad. 
when it actually is. I mean, a lot of people don't even get blisters for a few days on their feet, but this way is a good way of doing it. So I'm gonna end the vlog here and I hope everybody has enjoyed it. As I said, it's been very tiring doing this vlog and yeah, I hope you all, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can learn something from it and I hope it helps people who are struggling or they're a bit worried about the amount of pain that they cause um, because they do cause a lot of pain. You know, I hope this helps you sort of feel confident enough to go ahead and buy those boots and break them in. So I'll see you on my next vlog, which will be my next vlog after this will be going up on, I'm going to say Wednesday. I think this vlog was meant to go up today, which is Friday, but I think it's probably, I think I'm probably going to put it up on Sunday morning now. Um so yeah i will see you in my next vlog bye